Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn discuss further into approximate integration. And now look at example 5, which also uses Simpson's rule. And uh, basically, before I get to this example, which is over here, I'm going to just go over a brief introduction on this type of example. Basically, in many applications of calculus, we need to evaluate an integral, even if no explicit formula is known for y, as a function of x. And uh, basically, a function may be given graphically or even as a table of values or of collected data. And uh, if, if there's evidence that the values are not changing rapidly, then we could apply the trapezoidal or Simpson's rule to find an approximate value of the integral of y with respect to x. In other words, here, just integral y dx, like here. Yeah, so basically now let's look at this type of example. We're not giving a, given a formula here. This example states, the figure below shows data traffic on the link from United States to SWITCH, which is a Swiss academic and research network. Yeah, on February 10th, 1998. So this is a while ago. This was in my calculus textbook. So the numbers here uh, are not actually that big in the because it's a while a while ago and technology and storage space and download speeds have increased uh, greatly basically dft is the data throughput measured measured in megabits per second or mb per, uh, divided by s right there yeah or even uh, here M mbps uh, you could write it like that and the question says use simpson's rule to estimate the total amount of data transferred on the link up to noon on that day and before I get to this graph so here's this figure it goes up and down like this before I get to that just an interesting note on a megabit well MB should not be confused with the megabyte which is capital um, MB like that and basically MB is used for download speeds and M and uh, megabytes is used for file size basically this is a popular one used megabytes it's just an 8-bit it works in 8 bits, so that's why 1 megabyte equals 8 megabits, and same with 1 byte equals 8 bits, and 1 gigabyte equals 8 gigabytes, etc. I'm not going to dive too deeply into this, and basically thus a download speed of 8 megabits per second is simply 1 megabyte every second. Now that we got that out of the way, so here is the graph, and we're only expected to find uh, the total downloads uh, up to here and so that's for the total download this right here dft this is in megabits per second so it's a change of rate so we're only asked uh, to find it up to here and since this is a rate of change we want to find the total and the total is going to be well obviously just the area across it like that now if we get to the solution and also because here we want the units to be consistent and d of t or the throughput or basically uh, the amount of megabytes being a uh, megabits being transferred per second is measured in in uh, megabytes per uh, megabits per second we convert uh, the units for time from hours to seconds here we're given in hours so we want in seconds to make it all consistent so to do that we could do the conversion one hour times it by well we know that one hour there's 60 minutes so 60 minutes per hour times it by and then we know that there's 60 seconds uh yeah this is 60 seconds per one minute so when you multiply all these out the hours cancel the minutes cancel we're just left with here zero zero add two zeros six times six is 36 so one hour equals 36 seconds equals one hour so we could use this conversion when we make a table out of this. And now since D of T is a rate of change of megabytes, i.e. just mega, I mean megabits, megabits per second, the integral or the area underneath the curve simply gives the net change. This is a rate of change. You can learn more from my video on the net change theorem, but it's a simple theorem based on just integrals and fundamental theorem of calculus. And basically in our case, since, it's, since the rate of change is always positive, is D of T, so the area under the curve is just the total megabytes downloaded, or just the integral. So if we let A of T be the total megabyte transferred by time T, what we have yeah, is simply A of T equals 2, then it's going to be from 0 here, that's when we start off, 
all the way till time t of dt. I'm going to get d of t dt. It's a lot of dt's right here. And now we basically need to estimate the values of dt at hourly intervals. Yeah, well, that's one way we could do it at hourly, just the easiest way from the graph, and compile them in a table. And again, from this curve, it's pretty smooth data, so you could apply trapezoidal or, or the Simpsons rule. So now if we make a table, but note that also since we are, are only asked to find a total data transmitted by noon, we only need to estimate the first 12 hours of data. So here is what I've compiled. So at t equals zero, I mean at, at zero hours, or the same thing as zero seconds, that is about 3.2. So if we scroll up here, if three is about here, yeah, this is about roughly 3.2. Then when we go to, let's say, um, one right here, one is a, at this point right here is about 2.7, I think. Let's just see if I have that. Yes, yeah, so about 2.7. And again, at two, this is about here, or like, it's, it's just actually something like this. So you could have it at two or 1.9 is what I've written down, et cetera. And then you could get all the way down to the 12. And basically you could just guess these on your own. So roughly here, this is about 7.9 of the 12. I'll skip these ones over here. And that's about 7.9, there is a 1.9 here. So these are the ones, basically that's how I would solve those. And just make an estimate of them. And the seconds corresponds to, well, there's one hour, three, six, zero, zero seconds, two, and then this one is just, well, 72. I mean, this is just three, six, zero, zero times two. And this is a table I've embedded. I'll also put a link so you can download this. Yeah, whoops, I don't know why I was not downloading here. I fixed it here, just press edit. So when you edit here, I have this and I have a link to it as well. As you can see, here is the uh, hours. I just had a, you could also use the convert function or you could just times this by the hours. So 3600 times by three, it's the same thing, you'll get this. You could also use this convert, put this value inside. This will be, yeah, again, I don't know what's happening with my uh, Excel, but anyways, this just put in here, it converts this B10, which is, this three hours to seconds right here. You could write it like that. And that's just a way to use uh, the convert button. So anyways, let's close this. So now what we do is that basically since we're asked to solve or estimate it up to noon, so we only got up to 12 hours here, using Simpson's rule, what we have is, well, first let's recall the Simpson's rule like I showed in my earlier video. Simpson's rule is from the integral from A to B of f of x dx is roughly equal to s of n, and this is equal to delta x over three, and then you have f of x zero plus four f of x one plus two f of x two, and then you get plus well four f of x three, and then plus etc. It's always the same pattern. Then you get a 2 f of x, well, n minus 2, then plus 4 f of x, f of x, n minus 1, and then the last one is just, well, f of x, n. And in our case, what we'll pick is just, let's pick each hour. So this could be, well, the, the 0 is x 0, this is x 1, etc. This is our x, n. So x, n equals to, well, x. 12, so n equals 12. In our case, so going back here, what we have now is, well, a is equal to zero, that's just the initial one. B is equal to, well, 12 hours, which equals two in seconds, that's over here. Four, three, two, zero, zero seconds. So we'll do everything in seconds. And n here is again, that's gonna be, there's 12 intervals. Because there's just one, two, it's all sequential, so L, uh, n equals 12. Our delta x now equals two. Well, we're only doing every hour, so from here to here, if this is two, this is four, this is five, etc. this could be our delta x, this equals to our delta t, and that's just one hour. So delta x equals two, delta t, 
which again equals to well b minus I'll just write this one first by definition as b minus a over n so we're just dividing the full length by the number of intervals this equals to our delta t which equals to b which is 12 minus 0 over 12 that's just one hour so it's 12 hours one hour that equals to well three six zero zero seconds so we have all this and now our x zero that's just going to be well zero at zero this is uh, one two etc so that's just what those are so what we have now is the integral from zero oh, and also what we have is f of x now is our f of t uh, I'll put a dt right here f of x dx equals to our f of t dt. So just replacing everything with what we have in our function, what we get now is the integral from 0 to, this is going to be um, 4, 3, 2, 0, 0. Yes, seconds, so that's in seconds of, actually I made a mistake here, this is not f of t, this is d of t. So that's our download or throughput speed. So this equals to dt dt. So up to t up to noon or four three two zero zero seconds is roughly equal to. Let me just write this roughly equal to what we have now is s of twelve, which equals to three six zero zero. That's our delta t divided by three. And then what we have is now f of, I mean d of, yeah, d of 0, then plus d, I mean plus 4, d of, now our x1, that's going to be our 3, 6, 0, 0, plus 2, d of 7, 2, 0, 0, plus, etc. get all the way to the end, now we have at the final one, 4, d of just before this so at the 11th hour 39600 zero, zero, 39600 zero, zero. then and then the last one is just d of the 12 at noon 43200 zero. so that is how the f uh, formula looks like and again when we input this we get the 3600 zero, zero, over 3 now the d of zero that equals two. Well, let's just look at it. Three point two. We have then we have two point seven. Then one point nine. So this is going to be three point two plus four times. I think this was two point seven. Then plus two times one point nine. Keep going on and on until we get up to all well, these ones. Four times it by. Scroll up. Seven point seven. And then there's a 7.9. 7.7, 7, then plus last one is a 7.9. So that's what we have right here. And what this equals to is basically, well, let's just go back to our Excel formula. I have this actually here. If I edit, so pulls this out. Yeah, and here I've quickly added the Simpsons rule factor just to the table. So each of these uh, factors here 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, and these are the x0, x1, etc., x12, and the corresponding seconds in each one. And also, here is the si. What I've called this is as each term. So, if you double click this, what we have right here is basically the formula is 3600 zero, zero, divided by 3, so that's our delta x or delta t times by the Simpsons rule factor, and then times by, well, d of t right there. So close that, and then we get all these terms. Then when you finally sum this up, and again, follow these 1, 4, 2, 4, all the way to 4, 1. We have 1, 4, 3, 8, 0, 0 total uh, megabits. So we could close this. I'll save. Okay. So now that we have all this, we have, and also here I'm going to refresh this right here, refresh. So, yeah, I don't know why that didn't refresh right away. But anyways, here I've just paused and fixed this up. So there is our final answer right there. That's our 143800, and it's all here. And uh, you could download, well, these notes, 
as well as uh, that Excel sheet. I'll put a link in there. there. So this is one four three. Let me see. I think it's uh, three eight zero 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 zero. So this is the total megabits from uh, from uh, midnight till noon that was downloaded. And I'll just put this is a and this is our our noon equals to total megabits. So that is the final answer here, and this is, uh, yeah, that's all for today. And this is a pretty interesting um, example on how to solve or estimate uh, area of function using the Simpsons rule. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned, and uh, like always, you can download the exact notes and the Excel link, and Excel notes in the links below in the description. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.